Hello folks, a few weeks ago Qualcomm unveiled its newest flagship smartphone chipset, the Snapdragon Agent 3. It will be used by a majority of high-end Android smartphones that are slated to be launched next year. Samsung will use a Snapdragon chip too in the Galaxy S24 series, however, the one that Samsung is using is a slightly faster version than the stock Snapdragon Agent 3. The Snapdragon Agent 3 chip that is expected to be used in the Galaxy S24 series will most likely be named the Snapdragon Agent 3 for Galaxy. It has been spoken on Geekbench's database, revealing more details about how it is different than the stock Snapdragon Agent 3 chips that other brands will use. The Snapdragon Agent 3 for Galaxy has one Cortex-X4 CPU core clocked at 3.4 GHz, three Cortex-A720 CPU cores clocked at 3.15 GHz, two Cortex-A720 CPU cores clocked at 2.96 GHz, and two Cortex-A520 CPU cores clocked at 2.27 GHz. A previous report also revealed that it's Adrena 750 GPU is clocked at 1000 MHz. Compared to the stock Snapdragon Agent 3 chip, the Samsung exclusive Snapdragon Agent 3 for Galaxy processor has 100 MHz higher clock speed for the Cortex X4 CPU core and 100 MHz faster clock speed for the Adrena 750 GPU. Higher clock speeds will bring slightly faster CPU and GPU performance for burst loads. However, a lot will depend on how well the Galaxy S24 is cooled. If Samsung uses a big vapor chamber heat dissipation, patient system like it did in the Galaxy S23 FE, the Galaxy S24 could perform really well even under sustained loads. Similar to the Galaxy S23 series which came with a slightly higher clocked Snapdragon Agent 2 for Galaxy chip, the Galaxy S24 could perform better than other Android smartphones that will be powered by the stock Snapdragon Agent 3 chipset. Although Samsung will likely use the Exynos 2400 processor in the Galaxy S24 and the Galaxy S24 Plus in most countries, the Exynos 2400 has already been announced and it uses Samsung Foundry's newer 4 nanometers process, which is said to be more stable. The Exynos 2400 has ARM's latest CPU cores, it also features the Xclips 940 GPU that is based on AMD's latest GPU architecture RDNA 2. Samsung has claimed that it features very good GPU performance, but we don't expect it to surpass the impressive GPU performance of the Snapdragon Agent 3. Samsung is also expected to equip Galaxy S24 series phones with higher RAM, up to 12GB for Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus and up to 16GB for Galaxy S24 Ultra. We are two months away from the possible launch of the Galaxy S24, but most of its features have leaked over the past few months. It was also rumored that Samsung will use a titanium alloy frame for the Galaxy S24 Ultra and it is increasingly looking like the information is accurate. According to the ELX new report, the Galaxy S24 Ultra uses a titanium frame for the case. Apparently, that is the only phone in the Galaxy S24 lineup to feature a titanium frame and the company could expand the feature to more models in the coming years. While Apple was the first to bring titanium to smartphones, Samsung has been working on titanium frames for two years and the final decision to bring it to the Galaxy S24 Ultra was taken this year. The company is said to be in the late stages of securing the yield rate for the titanium cases. It is working with Chinese firm Solomon and South Korean firm KH Vitek for those titanium frames. Titanium is stronger than aluminum and lighter than steel, but it is also harder to cut and finish, hence the yield rate of titanium is lower and, and can turn out to be a costly affair. Currently, Samsung uses aluminum frames for its phones, which cost less than $20 each. However, titanium frames can be much more costlier and that drives up the bill of materials and possibly the price of the device. Since Apple switched from stainless steel to titanium for the iPhone 15 Pro series, it could reduce the weight of the device. However, Samsung has been using aluminum, so switching to titanium will make the phone stronger but not lighter. That is the reason why the Galaxy S24 Ultra's weight was rumored to be extremely similar to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.